Welcome back to JRAM Kids Online, and thanks for tuning in to another Sunday School lesson. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but last week you guys learned about the parable of the Great Banquet. But this week we have something special in store because our Ate Jeremy will get to teach us about the parable of the mustard seed. So be excited for that. Now before we start, let's remember the three basic rules, which is please put away your distractions, please grab your Bibles, and please participate. And with that being said, let us jump into praise and worship. Now, whether you guys are at the beach or at home, let's stand up and let's join our Ate Gigi as she leads us into praise and worship. So let's go and do that. Welcome to another Sunday. My name is Dr. Jeremy Figueroa and I'm here to teach you guys about the parable of the mustard seed. So why don't you guys go ahead and grab your Bibles and turn with me to the book of Matthew 13 verses 31 to 32. And you guys might be wondering why does Ate have all these ingredients all over her table? Well, I'll be teaching you the story while I bake. Is that okay to you? 
Awesome. So I'll go ahead and get started. Matthew 13, verse 31 to 32. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Though it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree, so the birds come and perch in its branches. So basically, the mustard seed at the time was considered the smallest seed and they used it. And we see here that even if it was the smallest seed, it grew into this tree full of branches and the birds came to rest on its branches. So I want you guys to keep this story in mind as I show you my baking. And today we'll be making cupcakes. <laughs> so like in the story the mustard seed was small yet it grew into a big tree now i want you guys to think of this as the mustard seed you know this is food coloring and i chose the color blue i'm sorry if you guys wanted a different color but yeah i chose the color blue and um, when you pour food coloring, they're tiny droplets and I want you guys to see the end result of the cake mix once I add in the blue. So think of this as a small mustard seed. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and mix it. It's turning blue. You see, I only added a little bit of food coloring, yet it turned my whole cake mix blue. Just keep mixing and mixing. Come here, look. See the impact of this small food coloring and its tiny droplets? onto the cake mix, it turned it completely blue. Now, let's go ahead and put it in on the pan and then we'll make our cupcakes. If you have extra cake mix, you can always eat it. Never mind guys, I take it back. Hey kids, and we're back. So, here is the final product. Now, I don't want you guys to think that I just baked cupcakes because it's totally random. No, I wanted you guys to think about the message and what it represents. Like I said, this tiny food coloring and its tiny droplets were similar to the mustard seed that Jesus was referring to in the parable. However, Jesus wasn't just talking about a literal mustard seed. That mustard seed represents something. And it says here, it represents the kingdom of heaven. 
and the mustard seed growing into a large tree represents the kingdom of heaven spreading throughout the world. God's reign through Jesus spreading throughout the world. Now, I want you to think about that as I show you these cupcakes. I want you guys to think of this final product as the world. The different continents such as Asia, Europe, Australia. And you see here the food coloring or the mustard seed or the kingdom of heaven change the color of the cake mix. And now I made a whole bunch of different cupcakes which are all blue. Well, blue green sort of. <laughs> I want you guys to think of it that way. That the kingdom of heaven, though at the time of Jesus, may have started small, but it grew. Look at the millions of Christians around the world. And look at all the missionaries going around and spreading the gospel. It's amazing, right? How great the kingdom of heaven spread throughout the world. That God's word, that God's word is being shown throughout the world. There are three points I want you guys to take away from the message today. Number one, the kingdom of heaven or God's reign is powerful. You see, it's as, it was as little as a mustard seed, yet it grew, it spread throughout the nations. And number two, we can find rest in the kingdom of heaven. Just like the birds, that rested on the branches of the large tree, so can we. We can rest in the kingdom of heaven. We can rest knowing that we are saved and knowing that Jesus died and rose again for us. Lastly, number three, we must spread the gospel to other people. How can the word of God spread if we don't do anything? That's why God has called us to spread his word, to spread the love of Jesus to others. Maybe it's someone at school. Well, right now we can't really go to school, but you can spread or text your friends. You can tell your parents. You can tell your grandparents. You can share it to whomever and say, you know what? I know this man and I know the son of God and that is Jesus. And he has given this life he has given us the second chance and he has redeemed us. So the kingdom of God started very small, but now you see around the world in the different continents, in the different nations, that his word is alive and his word is spread throughout this world. And I hope and I pray that you won't be afraid to spread the message that Jesus died and rose again on high for us and for our sake. So, I hope you guys learned a lot today. Now, let me test to see if the cupcakes taste good. Mmm, perfect. Hey kids, here's our memory verse for the week. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. 